the function of a, of, a, of a performing philosopher is not to try to sell you on any brand name of philosophy. I have no dogma. I have no um, favorite cause here. I have one cause, and that's the goal of a performing philosopher, is to encourage you and um, inspire you and um, empower you, to the extent I can, to think for yourself and question authority. Now, the way I'm going to try to do that tonight is I'm going to try to, it's all the language. We are, as the French semioticians tell us, we're in shackle by our language. We're imprisoned by our language, by ideas. And so what I'm going to try to do is to, um, with as much clarity as I can summon here, uh, and zap on and to laser and to warm up and to buzz and to tickle and to stimulate the shackles of language that are tying you to any particular religion or any particular political party. Now, it is true that if you, you should take on this role of urging people to think for themselves and question authority, y'all can get in trouble that way. Uh, and that's part of the game, you know. Most people, see, don't want to change. Most people are doing the best they can. They've been entrapped by their parents and their language and by the language of their society. They don't, you know, they, and they're discouraged from thinking for yourself. That's the key. How many of us in our growing years were encouraged to think for ourselves and question authority and come out with new ideas? You know, the aim of the game until Dr. Spock came along in, in 1946, which created the 60s, by the way. Dr. Spock was the first person that told parents, hey, your job is to teach your kids to be individuals and to encourage your kids to be individuals and to treat your kids as individuals. Oh, jeez. When he said that, that's the most subversive statement you can make. Talk about anarchy. Forget it. <laughs> when you teach kids to be individuals, you're undercutting every religion and every uh, organization and every political uh, dogmatic um, system. So after world history, it matter with your left, right, Christian, Jewish, Mormon, Mormon, name it, everybody who had an organization agreed you had to take kids and get them to line the kids are little wogs, little animals, you got to get them to, with, a, with a carrot and a whip, you got to get them to conform and join the, the, the pack. Uh, <laughs> this moment in world history, as we leave the industrial society, move on to the post-industrial society, uh, it's not only your your uh, pleasure to think for yourself, it's your duty. You've got to think for yourself in the information age.